Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Morgan and we do literally all things spooky here. So if you like spooky stuff, I would absolutely love to have you. Now today, since it is just a few days before Halloween, I think it is exactly, hold on, what's today's date when this is coming out? One second. It's almost 10 days, give or take. By the time this comes out, it'll either be 10 or 9 days before Halloween, so I thought that would be the perfect time to give you 10 must-watches for the Halloween season. That way you can go ahead and start now and get you some good watches in. Now these are movies that I personally watch every single October to get me in that spooky mood. If you don't, that's totally fine. These are just my personal ones that I thought you guys might enjoy as well. Now before we start off this list, please check the details below. I'm going to have all of my other socials, uh, where to find these movies, I'm gonna have where to send scary stories because we do that on here as well. There's all the information below so please check that out. But without further ado, let's talk about some scary movies. So the first movie that I have to watch every single Halloween is the film Trick or Treat. Now Trick or Treat follows five different stories that all weave together on one Halloween night. They all occur literally on the same block of this town. We have one story centered around a woman who really dislikes Halloween. One follows a group of children who do a scavenger hunt and play a really mean prank on one of their friends. We follow someone who is visited by an interesting trick or treater. We follow a girl who really wants her first time to be special. First time of what? We'll figure it out. And finally, we follow a principal who has a literally secret double life. This movie is a whole lot of fun. It's not too scary. So if you're not into really scary stuff, this is a really good one to watch. I love it. And you're going to love Sam. All right, the second movie that I have to watch every October is a bit on the scarier side. And there's actually two of these. I just watched the first one. If I have time, I'll watch the second one, but that is the film The House is October Built. The House is October Built follows a group of friends who decide to go on a road trip to find the most extreme underground haunted house that they can. But the house ends up finding them. They get stalked by a crew of haunted house workers. It is horrific. It made me more scared of haunted house attractions than I already am. A few movies on this list did that. But um, yeah, if you plan on going to a haunted house, do not watch that. Do not watch that. Do not watch a lot of the movies on here. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell you for the next movie as well, because this next movie is Hell House LLC. This is also an entire franchise now. If I have time, I watch more, but I at least watch the first one every October. Hell House LLC is a documentary style horror film, and it tries to figure out what went horribly wrong in a haunted house attraction called Hell House on its last night of being open. 10 out of 10. Every time I would recommend that one. The next film I want to talk about is actually a film that came out this year and that is Late Night with the Devil. Now Late Night with the Devil follows a TV host who is doing anything to save his butt and everyone that works for him because his numbers aren't doing the best. And he figures out, hey, scary stuff sells. What if we do a Halloween episode where we try to commune with an actual demon? And they do it. This movie is creepy. It gets into your skin. It's so well done. I cannot recommend this one enough. And it is a must watch for Halloween for me now. Next up, we have another franchise, but you literally cannot talk about Halloween movie without mentioning this one. So let's talk about Terrifier. Terrifier is centered around a demon who looks like a clown. He's called Art the Clown and he likes to terrorize people on Halloween. Well, up until this most recent movie when it happened on Christmas, but typically it's Halloween and for that the franchise should be watched on Halloween. Maybe watch All Hallows Eve and then Terrifier 1 and 2 like throughout October and then on November 1st watch Terrifier 3 now. I think that would be a good lineup. The next film is actually another movie that came out this year and it is an IFC film titled Oddity. This film takes place on a year anniversary of a pretty horrific tragedy that happened involving a sister and wife. So the sister of this deceased woman comes to the deceased woman's husband's home to stay with him for the anniversary and things get pretty chaotic. I cannot recommend this movie enough. It is incredible. It is one of my favorites of the year. Next up, we have Hellfest, and this will make you scared of theme parks that do scary stuff. Uh, it literally just follows a psychopath that pretends to be an actor. And isn't that all of our biggest fears when we do haunted house attractions or anything like that? Aren't we all just a little bit scared that someone with ill intentions is going to be behind that mask? 
We literally have no way of knowing. That doesn't scare anyone else. I hate haunted house attractions. Next up, this film doesn't per se take place on Halloween, which neither did Oddity, but I have to watch it every year, and that is the 2013 remake of Evil Dead. Now this film takes place at a remote cabin where a group of friends have gathered with their friend as she's trying to detox. When they go down in the cellar, find some stuff that they should not be looking at, much less touching, touch it, bring it up, and just unleash evil. Why did they touch the stuff? I don't know. The next film is also an entire franchise. A few of these are a franchise, so really I'm giving you like 30 recommendations if you think about it. But that is The Purge. I sat down with my husband and he's actually the one that suggested I put this on the list and I was like, which one would be good? And he was like, honestly, you can't go wrong with the first one. So from Eric, his recommendation is the first Purge movie, like not the first Purge, like The Purge. There's one titled The First Purge, not that one. I actually really don't like that movie, but the very first one that exists, that one. Watch that on Halloween. Personally, for me, I think also Election Year would be a really good one to watch on Halloween. That's the third one. All right, and we're going to close this off with another movie that's again, not very Halloween, but it makes me think of like fall vibes, and that is A24's The Witch. Now, The Witch follows a family who live on a remote farm that discover there is real evil on that farm. That's all I'm going to tell you if you haven't seen it. I recommend watching it, turn off all the lights, get cozy under your covers, and give it your full attention or you're going to be confused. But anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys like some of these recommendations and watch them, and let me know in the comments if you like any or what your go-to movies are. I have classics as well. I just didn't want to put classics on this list because I'm like, okay, no one wants to hear the fact that I watch The Shining every year because everyone does that or The Exorcist. I watch both of those every year. I watch um, Night of the Living Dead. I usually watch Carnival of Souls. I'm trying to think of others that I watch, but I just, I didn't want to give you guys ones that you definitely have already thought of. I wanted to throw different ones out there. Does that make sense? But classics or not, I would love to hear what you guys watch every holiday season, Halloween season. And yeah, let me know. I might add a few to my rotation. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you tomorrow.